Hi, I'm Susan LeBlanc, and this is Conversations with the Goodman School of Business. And my guest today is Vanessa Hartwick. Welcome, Vanessa. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming by. You are a recent grad, yes. business communications, just uh, 2016, so very recent. Mm -hmm. But you've got an exciting career starting already ahead of you. So why don't you start off with telling us uh, what you what you're up to since graduation? Um, actually extremely busy but it's yeah. great uh, I got my job before graduation um, that's through, always nice yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> through many many networking events that yeah. I attended so um, I had my last exam April 16th and started work on the 19th Wow so it was <laughs> yeah right in. right in there yeah um, so I am the assistant uh, manager of marketing at Flexity Financial Wow. Uh, it's a startup company and we do consumer financing a little bit like Leon's, how it's don't pay for mm -hmm. until next year, things mm -hmm. like that. So our company is actually the company behind that who provides the consumer with the money to make their purchase. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the, that's interesting. Like yes. It, yeah. I'm sure it gets you involved in all sorts of things. And you're working uh, downtown Toronto? Correct, yeah. Yeah. So are you from, where are you from originally? I'm from Milton. Okay. So. so little little town yeah. and uh, right into the big city yeah um, which is was it was a hard adjustment but yeah. um, I love it yeah mm -hmm. good. good and you're enjoying the work yes so it's actually quite interesting um, we have three different kind of markets that yeah. we have to deal with so a lot of business to business marketing that I do mm -hmm. as well as business uh, to consumers and then we also market towards investors um, so it's everything I learned in the four years at Brock yeah. Used. All rolled in. There yeah. you go. Good. Yeah. So, so it's all, uh, everything's all come together exactly. for you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And one of the things we wanted to talk about was uh, your experience with the Grant Dobson case competition, mm -hmm. which you won mm -hmm. um, last year, I guess. Three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, and, the, and you found that to be really instrumental to your success. Oh, yes. Of so course. So tell us yeah. a bit about the competition, what it, that's all about, and, and what it was like being in it, what, what, what you actually had to do. Um, so we, it was very last minute, we decided, I had a good group of friends mm -hmm. uh, in our program, so we thought, hey, let's try to do this, like let's create our mm -hmm. own pitch and pitch a company. Um, we're up against all Goodman students who have done this before, they have lots of practice mm -hmm. doing these pitches, and we're business communication students, so we're like, let's grab the title back, it's been with Goodman for a while, <laughs> so <laughs> it was a little yeah. bit of fun there. Yeah. Um, and it was to combat childhood obesity. Mm. So um, what, what could we come up with to get creative um, and the government would ultimately sponsor that. So we came up with kind of a Fitbit band and designed it around how it would be incorporated in elementary schools. Mm -hmm. um, and my team was just so passionate about what we had. Like we drew, we drove to um, uh, Niagara Falls, New York, to go pick up a prototype of what we had designed. Wow! Uh, the morning of the competition. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. so it's good thing you didn't get caught at the border. Oh my goodness! St st yeah. I think they caught, stopped at the border. They had a long lineup. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, and so we pitched it in front of a panel of judges. Yeah. Um, and they are all from marketing agencies, so yeah. it was nerve-wracking, but we ended up winning it, and it had to. It was one of the best experiences I had at Brock. Were the, were the judges like uh, very tough on you? Like did they ask um, tough questions? Were they? They were fair. Yeah. Uh, the questions definitely were difficult, but mm -hmm. it's almost the questions that your profs ask you at the end of a presentation. So right. we were well prepared for that, um, but definitely challenged us on a couple of things, but I think that that's what makes the, that's what is really the competition all, about. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You have to, how you rise to the challenge. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it is, it's nice to hear you talk about the passion that, mm -hmm. that your team had for for the uh, for the um, prototype that you were, yes, you yeah. were working on, because it's always, it comes down to that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. If you don't have the passion, you're not gonna really succeed as much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Um, and you are actually coming back here and helping out. You've, you've just mm -hmm. driven in from Toronto, yeah. and we appreciate that very much. And you're coming to speak to uh, our Professor Antonio Mantanakis's class tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, I came last semester, mm -hmm. coming again um, today. Mm -hmm. And then I will be going and speaking um, in our internship class for yeah. the business communications program. 
um, and kind of just giving the students like this is what I did. Mm -hmm. I it was interesting second year of university. I was enjoying university, very mm -hmm. social, doing all of that. But towards the end of second year, I was like, I haven't differentiated myself at all. I right. haven't positioned myself to get a job. Mm -hmm. um, I need to really start cracking down and and get involved and start exploring new things. Right. Um, I did an exchange in third year, oh, so nice. I went to yeah. uh, Mannheim for the whole year in Germany. Wow, a whole year? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so I was there for 11 months right until my uh, resident permit expired. Wow. <laughs> Got to take advantage of it. That must um, have been a great experience. It was. It was yeah. fantastic. Uh, the school was very hard, mm -hmm. but taught me a lot, and yeah. I had met some great people who I'm still in touch with. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's interesting to hear you say, you know, you had to differentiate yourself mm -hmm. because it's so true. I mean, mm -hmm. when you think of it, there's hundreds, thousands, yeah. when you go across the country, thousands of of people graduating from university every year and and how do you find that thing that that sets you apart exactly yeah. and and you did that with with the uh, with the competition and, mm -hmm. and going on exchange and and I'm sure that helped when it came time to finding your job oh yes did it, yeah did it become a thing that uh, during the interview process yeah to talk Our, about? Uh, um, so one of the biggest questions that I went to probably 20 networking events mm -hmm. and I had many, many interviews, right. um, and the one interview that stuck and that I went back for for a couple of times was, was with my present company, um, and our CEO actually did an exchange in Germany. Oh, so. So that was really common yeah. grounds, and yeah. he asked me, so what did you like best about it? Well, Germany, everybody's really efficient, they're mm -hmm. super hard workers, mm -hmm. um, they're like just great people to work with. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of what caught his attention was, okay, are you gonna embody those traits right. as well? Um, and I, yeah, exactly yeah. I do. So yeah. um, that really helped with the interview. And then it's things like, what's one of your strengths? Well, mm -hmm. you can have like the basic strengths, like I'm good at this, I'm good at that. But um, something that I always highlighted was my adaptability, mm -hmm. so I went into Europe. I lived there for a year. I didn't know anybody. I tried to learn the language in three months yeah. once I figured out that I got accepted. Yeah. So wasn't the best at the language either. Yeah. And a couple of my courses I took in German. Oh wow. So um, I came out of it, um, passed all my classes, did quite well, learned a lot and yeah. had a fabulous time. So adaptability is always something I highlight in the interviews. Yeah, yeah. and perseverance, as you said, like, because mm -hmm. you, you, how many interviews you went through, mm -hmm. then it does, yeah. you just have to keep plugging keep along, going. keep going, <laughs> yeah. 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 So if you had a, a sort of advice that you'd want to give to students, what would that be? Um, I would say start early. Um, I started my whole job application interview process networking in October. Of yeah, of um, my fourth year. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little late. It's it was perfect. It was perfect timing for me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of yeah. like a lot yeah. of the companies actually yeah. were hiring in January. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah. So um, interviews that I went into were for a January position. Yeah, uh, I still went to the interviews because it's great practice. Good. Yeah. Um, and then towards January ish, I started finding companies that were hiring for after graduation, and yeah. that's when I landed my job. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you have to start getting involved. Oh yes, early. yes. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to leave that too late. Yes. Otherwise, no. you've got mm -hmm. nothing on your resume exactly. to talk about. Yeah. yeah. So that was the Dobson case yeah. going abroad, and then I did things with Brock TV. I was a sports broadcaster. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. were talking about mm -hmm. that. It must have been a lot of fun. It was a blast. Yeah. Yeah. You, a lot you, of great people. You find you? Do you find you just sort of do that talking along with the TV if you ever watch? Uh, it's interesting, yeah. 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 <laughs> and sometimes you're like, oh, I might have asked that question differently, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. yeah, that's fun. Well, thank you so much for coming yeah, by, thank you for and thank me. you for for coming back and talking to our students. We know mm -hmm. uh, students always love to hear from people who are out there um, in the real world working in kind of jobs that they hope to have one mm -hmm. day. So thank you for that and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks, thanks for coming by and thank you for tuning in and, and chatting with us and hopefully we will chat soon.